time to value is pretty dang important. If you've got a rocky onboarding, you are very easily able to lose expansion opportunity. Whenever I first joined the, the, the quarter uh, before, we were at 112 business day average time to live. Pretty lengthy. <laughs> Last quarter, uh, we had our, our biggest quarter ever in terms of concurrent projects. We landed at 45 business days. I'm Braxton Clement. I'm Senior Director of Customer Onboarding here at Support Logic. Basically, nine tenths of my job has been adding order to chaos. So our, our whole platform is AI and machine learning based. Um, and with that, it, it is technically complex. And with that, a technically complex implementation. The big thing right now is, is time to value. Um, and I'm, I don't think that that's going anywhere. I mean, that's a, a lot of implementations teams uh, bread and butter. But um, especially now, we, we move to a usage-based licensing model. So customers pay for what they use, which means time to value is pretty dang important, even more than it was before. Being able to come in hot, set the tone, um, like make it very, very easy for them and a very quick implementation, we found that customers are way more likely to come knocking at our door and say, hey, what about this? We want to try this out. Spreadsheets, <laughs> a lot of spreadsheets. Uh, you know, they're the uh, ubiquitous go-to option. People generally understand how to use them, but, but they are not good for managing a project. Right before I was hired, uh, our then chief customer officer uh, purchased GuideCX. So uh, like my, my first uh, big, big task um, or goal for our team was to implement that. Just being honest, um, did not love it. Found problems with approach and you know how they were telling us to do things. It was met with a lot of hacky workarounds. And I don't know about you, but whenever we have just like purchased a new product to help solve problems, I don't, I don't love that. I, I don't like band aids on an issue. Salesforce implementation at the time was very, very rough. Um, it utilized a managed package rather than a very easy, um, like in UI configuration. And the, the reporting to me was quite lackluster. We used that because quite frankly, that was definitely better than spreadsheets. GuideCX, they were going to charge us an arm and a leg for even basic time tracking, which made absolutely zero sense. And then also tied in single sign-on with that, which had me scratching my head a bit. Anyway, you, you guys do both right out the box, which was like a huge no-brainer. In terms of reporting, being able to easily track utilization and billable hours is absolutely huge. Being able to figure out what types of projects and what tasks are running on time, ahead of time, or super, super behind is really, really helpful too. You can set key tasks or milestones as their own thing and measure intervals. And that's ultimately what I care about. Projects and onboardings in general, they don't always end with go live, right? So like the project end, we don't want it to be this abrupt thing where customers think we're pulling some like vanishing act and being able to effectively report on key intervals. How long does it take for us to get access to customer data? Um, after we've done our work, uh, how long does it take customers to validate our efforts? And from then, how long does it take for them to actually like be considered live based on our own internal criteria? That's awesome. I have been and continue to be most happy with are the dynamic projects. Um, that that is such a huge time saver. Like that that has to save like probably at least a dozen of my hours each month being able to just look at, hey, this is the Salesforce opportunity. This is what we believe their tech stack to be. Based on that, 
create the project plan that matches just automatically. You know, Salesforce integration, just to speak to that, that took me probably 15 minutes to set up and also didn't require any sort of like Salesforce admins intervention. Uh, love that. Time tracking, and I guess a little bit less, less selfishly, um, time tracking for my team has just been so, so easy. Um, the fact that it integrates with calendars is awesome. Like, as long as any work they're doing lives on their calendar, they, they can very easily tie it to uh, a customer project, and it's, it's just awesome. Uh, before, we were at 112 business day average time to live. Pretty lengthy. <laughs> Last quarter, uh, we had our, our biggest quarter ever in terms of concurrent projects. We landed at 45 business days uh, time to live. Right now, we are projected to land at 35 for this quarter. So, um, you know, pretty big strides. Rocket Lane has definitely been a, a core part of that. Thank <laughs> you.